they woke up and they hadn't slept well again. And the night before, they hadn't been really taking good care of themselves. And they wake up first thing in the, in the morning. As they, and as, as they open their eyes, they're not feeling rested and relaxed and excited about the day. They are feeling exhausted again, stressed about all the things that are going on in their life. And so they get out of bed and they drink some coffee because they're so exhausted, which boosts their heart rate up. And their heart rate is already elevated because of the anxiety and the and, and whatever other stress they're carrying. And then they start going about their day and something else goes wrong. And all of a sudden the accumulation of all the frustration of all the other things that have been going wrong means that they're at a level where they're really close to fight or flight. Mm. Where this episode of Vancouver Real, we feature Alejandro and Alistair from Moose Anger Management. Take a deep breath. Relax. Reality that in some cultures or at certain, maybe at a certain extent, it's accepted in men. It's kind of expected. Uh, it's kind of manly. Yeah. But, oh my gosh, if a woman is called angry, it's like an insult. And so we we look at this on, on, on the work we do. Um, we take a really clear look into what gender expectations are. But there is so much complexity behind anger. So if you have anger or rage or frustration, there's always uh, a lot around it or many different emotions connected to it. There's usually current circumstances and there's history. So when we look at all of these different things, if we, the more we can delve into that, then we can understand how the anger or the frustration or the rage makes sense right in this moment. And all of a sudden they're acting like they're five. Right. And it's not until they do what's necessary so that they can relate and take care of that five-year-old hurt place within them. And it's very physical within us. We can have a wonderful relationship, but then as we get angry, we polarize and get into positions that are like, take, you know, like you justify in your mind that you're right and the other person is wrong or that that other person had all these qualities even when you met them. And, and so what we want is to work in terms of how the, the partnership can um, can help to each other to grow. People is first close your mouth, breathe through the nose, breathe deep into the abdomen. That alone signals to the body that everything must be okay because automatically when we're going into fight or flight, we breathe through the mouth and often the breathing is just really shallow in the top part of the chest. And unwittingly often we will hold our breath just briefly in between breaths. So this leaves us with less oxygen for the body, for the brain. And in order to, to compensate for that, the heart starts to speed up, which just shoots us up. And 